Finally tonight, Chip Reed on a river that runs wild once more. For the first time in 200 years, the Penobscot River in northeastern Maine is running free. Built as the largest river restoration project in the country, it took 10 years and $62 million to get it back to its natural state. Laura Rose Day heads up the Penobscot River Restoration Trust. Would it be too much to say that this river was near death and it is now uh, coming back to life? I think that near death is a very accurate statement of where uh, life in this river has been. I mean, we're really talking about a fishery that's been devastated. In the 18 and 1900s, the river was a thriving hub for industry. Business prospered, but the natural balance and the fish population suffered. Years of fighting over dams followed. Then in 2003, a rare meeting of the minds among conservationists, industry, and government. They agreed to a $62 million plan to remove two major dams and increase energy production at six other plants on the river's tributaries. Unfortunately, salmon are very severely depleted. Removing the dams and opening up access to about 1,000 miles of habitat, it'll make a huge difference. A huge difference not only to the fish, but to the people. The area around the river is also home to the Penobscot Indians, who have lived along these banks for thousands of years. Scott Phillips is an ambassador to the Restoration Project. This is the homeland for the Penobscot Nation. This section of the river was basically taken away from us for the last 180, 200 years because the dams impeded our travel on here and impeded the fish. We aren't talking about rolling back um, in the industrialized world here. We're talking about making some very strategic changes. It's awesome to look at a river and flowing through where a dam stood for 200 years and to think that we can get back some of what we've lost. It's once again a river where fish and people can thrive. Chipri, CBS News, Bangor, Maine.